dramatic. So imagine you're watching a University of Tennessee football game and instead of the usual university ad at halftime, UT runs an ad with a message like this. The Tennessee Vols are the best. Other SEC schools suck. And those schools that are ranked technically higher than us have faculty members that are unattractive with no personalities. <laughs> that would be an arrogant message. Arrogance is lifting yourself up while putting your competition down. And there are strong social norms against it. Think of the most arrogant person you know, maybe someone you work with, but not here because UT is the best. But in general, somebody who thinks too highly of themselves, it's gross, it's a turn off, we don't want to be around them. But there are exceptions. Research has shown when evolutionary or relationship motives are primed, we can actually be more drawn to an arrogant individual, basically because it saves time. Like, if there's 10 dudes and that one says he's the best, I can just date him and get it over with instead of dating 10 people. <laughs> so for brands too, you don't see a lot of arrogant messaging. It's a turn off like this ad here. Oh, if you can't afford to live here yet, keep trying. Someday you'll be good enough for us. It's mostly a turn off. We don't like it. There are strong social norms against coming off as too confident, it's gross. But just like with people, there's exceptions for this too. Studies have shown if you're already a fan of the brand and they send out an arrogant message, you like the brand more because by proxy you think, well, if, if they're great, then that means that I'm pretty great too because I buy that. So if UT were to run that ad, all of us that work for them would be like, yeah, yeah, we are the best, it's true. So my co-author on this project, Tyler Milfeld, just defended his dissertation. He's the best. He's going to start a job at Villanova this fall. <laughs> we were wondering, what about sustainability or green advertising? So for brands, big companies that are already doing their part to fight climate change, move towards more sustainable practices, could they maybe use arrogance in their messaging? Most green advertising right now looks like this. The messages are very chill and peaceful and mild, say we're doing a little more every day to stop packaging waste, look at us, because we want to adhere to the social norm and not come off as too mm, over the top. The problem is messages like this don't really stand out. So one factor we realize is huge here is the size of the brand. So think of an underdog company, small mom and pop startup. Uh, we think we, they occupy a very different space in our brain than huge brands that dominate their share of the product market. This would be the Starbucks, the Walmart, the Nike, whatever. So our model is that brands that have a high market share, if they use a high arrogance message, it may actually increase perceptions of credibility, which would lead to increased perceptions of environmental commitment and more positive brand attitudes. So for advertising market research, this is like what you wanna, what you wanna go for. It's sort of the gold standard dependent measure. So we ran three experimental surveys. They all looked like this. We had a low arrogance or control message that looked like what most green ads look like now. We're trying to learn. And then we had a lot of fun making the high arrogance messages. We know sustainability better than anyone. This was for a fictional brand. We also did it with real brands, Crest versus Martins. Again, the low arrogance control condition. Hey, we don't claim to be better, but we're trying. Look at us, come on the journey. Versus, we don't claim to be saving the planet. We know we are. <laughs> I've never cracked myself up so much making fake ad stimuli as I have on this project. So consistently, we found in the low arrogance condition, there's no difference in uh, market share size. However, when brands use a high arrogance message, it's actually better for the big market share brand and worse for the low market share brand. This was the case here with Crest and Martins and also for the other, for the fictional studies we did, like this one with the fake brand. I think it's because the low arrogance message doesn't get our attention. We live in a very saturated visual marketplace. We all see thousands of ads every day. These don't stand out. But when there's a, a message that deviates from the social norm, wow, that's really cocky and kind of out there, that gets our attention. So then once the arrogant message gets our attention, we have to think about, is, could this be true? And we use signaling theory to say, well, there's a gap between what the brand knows about their sustainability practices and, and what we know, and I don't have time or care enough to learn all that information, so I'm just gonna take their high market share as a cue that I guess they could be doing all that stuff for the environment, so in that case, yeah, I like them more. And because the arrogant message isn't technically about the brand itself, technically they're not saying we're the best, they're saying we're the best at doing this stuff for the environment, then we think it might bypass the traditional reactants or disgust 
when somebody's really cocky and we're like, that's really gross, I don't want to be around you. So these are the biggest brands in each state. Our big takeaways here are if you are a large company who is doing your part to fight climate change, move towards sustainable practices, don't be shy about it. Shout it from the rooftops. Uh, be loud, be bold, and maybe throw a little shade at your competitor, but not too much because it might get weird. <laughs> These are the most viable brands, so in the future we want to explore how how arrogant can you get? How ridiculously cocky can your messages get before it becomes a little cartoonish or you think, all right, these guys are trying a little too hard. This is weird. And for the smaller mom and pop brands, uh, so we found out that maybe Google imaging, searching for all these things was so fun. Uh, okay, so we found arrogance doesn't work for that. What are persuasive messages they could use to authentically communicate, hey, we're doing our part from the environment, we're just a little bit smaller. So what message strategies can they use to, to inform the public of their greenness? And now because this is the best audience ever and the best presentation ever, I deleted one slide from my Pecha Kucha so we all get out of here 20 seconds earlier. You're welcome. 